Okay, I'd like to thank uh, Gunner for joining us at Comrie Safaris and um, African Sun Productions for filming our hunt for us. I think we're going to have a fantastic time. Um, we're going to have some lovely breakfast with uh, Megan, yeah? She's doing some lovely bacon and eggs and I think it's going to be great. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Are you comfortable? Yep, inch and a half eyes. Perfect. Looking good. We right. good. Well done. Right, two shots decided in. I'll take that. Hey guys, we're here at Comrie Safaris on a fantastic day. We've got lovely weather. We just sighted in the rifles at the range and I don't think we're going to have any problems on this trip. We've got Gunner here from Texas. And we've got Thomas, our tracker. I think we're going to have a good time. Good weather ahead of us. Yeah, just made the short trip out to the range, got the uh, gun shooting straight. Um, we're going to go after uh, sable, black wildebeest, um, maybe a few more animals, but yeah, we'll see what we can't find. It's the first day of a five-day hunt, so we'll take it slow and uh, go from there. Thank you. Thank well you, done. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good job, Draft. Yeah, well, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ah, oh, nice work. Well done, Gunner. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, let's take him. a look. <laughs> oh man, it's a good black. It's a nice character. He's got a good boss on him. Beautiful and tough on the nose oh, yeah. as well. Beautiful man. He's a nice old bull. You can see the way his boss is worn down and all the cracks and wear and tear. You can see he's been around for a while. Look at all those cracks. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Lovely, eh? Mm -hmm. Okay, last night uh, we had a bit of a rough night coming into camp. We got a puncture. We only uh, got to camp at 2 a.m. this morning, so I told old Gunner here that uh, we're going to have a little bit of a lie-in. I know he's Texan, so he's a bit soft. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we didn't rush up this morning, and uh, we had breakfast around 9. Went to the range, 
and I could see then that uh, Gunner had some shooting skills. We spotted a nice black wildebeest. There was a bit of a mirage from the sun on him and uh, we weren't too sure, so we came in a little closer and we could see then that he was good. Um, Gunner put in a perfect shot, frontal chest shot through the heart, he didn't go far and yeah, we got the results. Lovely animal, well done Gunner. Thank you, thank you. Uh, first animal with uh, Comrade Safaris here in the Eastern Cape. Um, got on the sticks, uh, made a clean shot and he didn't go far. Uh, very proud of him. Old bull and uh, ah, psyched to be here. Thank you very much. And your pleasure. It. Yeah. We're going to have some good times. Yes sir. Lucky day. We try again. It's alright, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's go. Uh, got up on the sticks on a nice gims buck, but uh, he crested the hill before we could get a shot, so live to see another day. That's just too far for me. Nice. Okay. Let's go round two. Nest, huh? <laughs> <laughs> two sable we're gonna go have a look a little closer to see how good they are and make a call from there
just spotted two good sable. The one is definitely a little bit better than the other. We're gonna see if we can get him. Let them make a move and go over the damn wall. Once they over the little rise, there we got the opportunity to come around and stalk on top of them. Spotted a nice, uh, two nice sable bulls, uh, one with exceptional curl, uh, made a pretty decent stock on them, but uh, when I got our win, they gave us the slip, so we'll live to see another day. <laughs> it's a big black spring, but oh, awesome. we could take the uh, the bunting out, but I think we should leave it for tomorrow. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. There's a freaking massive oh. black spring, bro. I'm glad we made a chance point, Thomas. Hey, good spot. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Thomas. Beautiful black spring, but well done. Thank you very much. Look at that. That's what we call pronking. Okay. He's, he's just about when he's about to die, you know. Well, he's, he's at his end already. He sticks that up. If you take a smell there, you'll smell. It smells like cotton candy. Yes. Take okay. a smell there. Okay. Bend down there and have a smell. Let's have a smell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it smells exactly like cotton candy. That's that's intense. That's crazy. So we saw a uh, bottom buck earlier today, and uh, you know, win or lose, I like to talk about it. I made a long shot and I missed. Um, so we gave him some time to rest and we went after him again. Uh, we got a little bit closer and uh, before I took the shot, this uh, black spring box stepped out and uh, Richard, the PH was uh, very adamant. He's an excellent trophy. So uh, we changed game plans and uh, I took a pretty close shot and uh, dropped, him, uh, dropped him in his tracks. And uh, it's a pretty special phenomenon. When you shoot these uh, spring box, they pronk. And uh, it's when they're back, um, Harry stands up and uh, it takes off, it's a gland, and it makes a very uh, funny smell like cotton candy. It's very sweet, and it's a really cool thing that not uh, happens a lot, so it's, uh, it's very special. And just want to thank Richard for uh, putting me on the sticks and a good stock, and uh, African Sun Productions for uh, filming me. Thank you.
Howdy, we're in uh, the Winterberg mountain range, one of Pommy's concessions, um, one of the coldest places in South Africa, and I chose to choose to wear my short pants today. And uh, we're uh, looking for Paul Reba. Um, we've got Gunner here, and he's uh, really excited, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty quick drive this morning. Uh, we left our camp about 5.30. Um, scenery is great. As you can see, there's a dam behind us, and it's beautiful here. And uh, Paul Reba, it's a great trophy. It's uh, been on my hit list for a long time, and just want to thank Martin and uh, Richard for having me out and trying to get it done. Thank you. Wind's coming down too, so we can maybe up you know, go up the side here and we can walk along the ridge line there. Okay. There's not much cover, but let's see if we can get closer and have a look how good it is. Okay, sounds good. Two sixty-eight took a long shot, uh, hit him a little bit back, but uh, our tracker's on the other side, saying that he's laid down and uh, he sees blood on his coat. So we're gonna give him some time and see if he dies. Well done. Well, Thank you, Richard. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Oh. Well, uh, we had to throw some lead at him. Uh, got the distance range finally, and uh, first two shots uh, were pretty high. Um, but he came quite a bit closer. I just didn't adjust and got the range down. Made a good shot and dropped him. Nice, well done. Well, let's go look what we got. Awesome.
All right, we're here with uh, Comrade Safaris on another one of their concessions. Uh, the train's a little bit different here. Uh, we're up in the mountains and uh, we're hunting ball reed buck. Um, the first shot was a little low, but it was about 300 yards. With, uh, kind of an unsteady rest and uh, it wasn't fatal, so we took a couple more shots at him. Uh, had two misses. Uh, he moved a little bit closer and I went straight over the back. But after uh, uh, readjusting and getting the distance down, uh, put one more in him and he dropped. Uh, you can see that his animal's got a real interesting coat, uh, more like a rabbit uh, than an actual antelope. Um, and then there's also common reed bugs as well uh, that are here. But uh, we are more towards uh, ball on this particular hunt. Just want to thank Richard for doing a good job PHing and uh, putting me on a good shot. <laughs> thank you. That's how you do it. <laughs> That's how oh. you do it. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh man. Long shot off sticks. A little over 300 yards. He turned uh, broadside for us. Uh, was decently steady, but uh, called on the shot and paid off. Thank you, Richard. I need a pleasure. Nah. What a beautiful place, but oh, eh? That's Massive, look at that shot, perfect. 300 yards off sticks. Well done. Ah, couldn't have turned out better. I'm gonna make sure my gun is clear. There's a good tree. Well Thank done. You, I appreciate well it. Well done. Look at that. Nice old male. Beautiful ridges, nice and white in the front. What more can you ask for, eh? Ah, beautiful animal. Look. Great body size, healthy. Yeah, he's got a good body size yeah. too, yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, I need yeah, yeah, pleasure. We came out this afternoon for a stalk and uh, we crested the hill and uh, we spotted this blessed pack and a couple of other animals. We saw some eland, wildebeest, and springback. We started out at about 400 and he started walking a little closer, so we decided to stick behind a bush and just watch him. He came into about 330, uh, 350, mm -hmm. and uh, he spotted us, Gunner. So we just walked a little closer to 330. He just stayed focused on us. We couldn't get closer than that, and uh, put the sticks up, and Gunner made a fantastic shot at 330. Well done. Oh, thank you, Richard. Yeah, like you said, uh, we got into that uh, 300, 330 range, and he was looking right at us. Uh, he gave me a broadside shot, and... Uh, Made a long shot, and it, fortunately, it, you know, it paid off. Uh, it's a great bull, uh, very mature, very healthy bull, and I'm very happy with him. Thank you.
All right, we just uh, stopped. We saw some spring buck, and uh, we're gonna take a peek over this ridge to see if there are any good bulls in there. Rams, rams. <laughs> Change tactics again. Yeah. See that one right in front of the tree. Facing us. Uh, facing us, but his head's on the right side. Are you almost there? Are you sure? Almost. Yeah, I can see the one. Oh, that's him. And how comfortable are you? You see the upper left? You see those two that are standing there, can huh? mm -hmm. Now he is to the left in the trees. He's coming, he's okay. walking up here. Yeah. See the one coming up the top, so that, so that thick part of the tree's there. You just see He's feeding trees. now, you can see him grazing just to the, yep. just beyond those trees. Yeah. There it is, you hear it? Let's go closer. Okay. Well done. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate Very it. Good. Oh, he's starting to uh, prong. Yeah, huh? look at that. Look at that. Look at that one. How thick it is. Oh yeah, all the way. Kids is massive. The tips. Lovely. He's an old ram. Look how horny he is here in the front. Very mm. nice. Very, very nice. Well done. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We spotted a group of uh, springbok and uh, we made a pretty decent uh, stock. Um, we saw that they had moved off, so we made our way up um, kind of a big rock hillside. Uh, we saw another group of springbok with a nice uh, old uh, ram in it. Um, the shot was long, but I got comfortable uh, on the bipod and made a 360 yard shot. Uh, the shot was a little far back, um, but being a long shot, I kind of have to take it you know, as it is. But uh, I made a quick second shot after he had bedded down and uh, we got the job done. He fell right in his tracks. Um, it's a great ram. You can see with his bases there. He's very, very thick and at the top here on his right horn, he's got a little bit chipped off and it's uh, real thick at the top. Uh, it's very nice and I'm very impressed with them. And just want to thank uh, Richard of Comrade Safaris and Martin of African Sun Productions. Thanks guys.
Day three here at uh, Comrie Lodge in uh, the Eastern Cape. Um, we got two days under our belt and shot about five uh, really nice animals. Uh, the main priority for today and the next coming days is uh, sable. On the left, in the gap between the trees, you can just okay. see his backside. You'll see it's going to come up the other side there. spotted two good sable. We're just trying to decide now which one we want to shoot. The one is a big bull, he's got a nice curve, but he goes straight back, but he's a nice big mature bull. The one that's in front of us now, same kind of thing. He just doesn't go as far back. He's got a good curve, but he flees nicely. So yeah, we're gonna flip a coin. <laughs> How did you get him there? Feel pretty good, just by my shoulder. A quarter in the way. Quarter in the way. Happened quick though, he gave me that yeah. little bitty. I wasn't expecting that shot either. <laughs> Okay, we've, we've shot a sable, we've found some blood. Looks like good blood, so we're gonna follow up on him and see if we can get him. Shot was quick, I think I might have rushed it just a little bit. We've been tracking him all morning. Uh, sometimes you just kind of make mistakes and shoot a little too fast, but we're gonna give him a good follow up and see what happens. Job done, job done. Now oh, that's a hand. Hey. <laughs> that's a hand. Oh man. Nice shooting, well done. I appreciate it. Hey nice Thomas, shooting. good job tracking. Yeah, Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, you never know if he's gonna turn yeah. and come being a sable. But I mean, clearly he did the work because he didn't go, what did he go? 250 yards, yards yeah. 300 yards. That was a good spot. You were like, he's right there and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, saw, I saw that curve and I was like, okay, okay, uh. there he is. Done. Well done, well <laughs> done, you, well done. Eddie's a beautiful animal. <sighs> Look at this. Oh man. He's got some nice secondary growth here. Yeah. On the bases, heavy. Thick bases, very thick, yeah. Ah. So a lovely curve to him mm -hmm. as well. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Only a pleasure. Okay, we spotted this uh, sable bull about three days ago. We couldn't get a shot on him. He snuck away from us, and uh, this morning we thought, let's go look more or less the same area that he was in, and he wasn't too far off over there. And uh, we came in on him. Uh, we spotted another bull. We definitely preferred this one. I think he's a better mature bull. And uh, we put in a stalk and uh, kind of put in a good shot, and as the end result, what a majestic, beautiful animal. Well done, Gunnar. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, like you said, uh, we did a short stalk. Um, kept uh, Martin on his toes with the camera there. I rushed the shot just a little bit on a pretty extreme angle, uh, but it ended up in his vitals, and he ran about 100 yards and uh, was laying down for us. So uh, it's a great bull. Uh, excited to be here and 
hold, you know, put my hands on this guy. You know, thank you very much. Uh, right now we're having some uh, black wildebeest that I shot on the first day of the hunt. Uh, our lovely camp manager, Megan, she uh, cooked it for us. This is Megan right here. And uh, we're serving some salad and getting ready to feast. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Come here, come here. Oh, he's down, he's down, he's down. Just stay on him, stay on him. I think he's done. Well awesome. done, buddy, well awesome. done, well done. There's good shooting, 270. Nice shooting, well done. We've been uh, stretching the shots out this trip. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, as you can see, we got a nice one down, so we'll go up there and get our hands on him. Nice. Beautiful. Well done, buddy. Well done, well done. Beautiful old oh, Bonneville dream. Look how nice and thick his bases are. Beautiful. See, also another thing with the point book, these ridge lines are a lot more distinct than yeah, the ones right here. Okay. The back, yeah. okay. And then the markings on the face and yeah, like you said, the back, legs, legs are kind of. Uh, He's just a lot more intimate than the blaze back, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're here with Comrade Safaris and uh, we're after uh, Bonnet Buck. Um, we saw him farther down the hillside and he was getting chased by some uh, white uh, bless buck. He made his way up the hill, so he made a short stalk and got on the sticks. It was a little over 270 yards. Uh, I put a shot right on his front shoulder and he only went about 40 yards and fell over. 
Um, this is a great Ram. Uh, couldn't be happier with them. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Right, we have a Bontebok here. It's family to the Blessback. Um, it's a lot more rare. Without hunting, we wouldn't have it here today. Its numbers are up and coming. It's really doing well now in South Africa. Um, just some of the main differences of a Bontebok and a Blessback is the Bontebok has short horns and a black, where the Blessback has a white. The rams especially have white in the front. And also, if you look at the the ridges here, are a lot more defined on the Bontebok than the Blessback. The legs also, they're a lot whiter. It's got that beautiful white patch at the back on the rump. I always say that a Bontebok is a much more handsomer brother um, than a Blessback. And they only originate in South Africa, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, after talking with Richard, um, I really, really wanted one. Um, I didn't know much about them, to be honest with you, but after just hearing about the conservation side of things and how these numbers have risen through hunting, um, just wanted to give back and uh, so I decided to buy a tag and we got a nice one down. Thank you. Right, this morning we've woken up to a fantastic breakfast by the ladies and uh, it's made us a little bit lazy but we've got a couple of animals that we need to get down in the next couple of days. We've still got a Gemsbuck, a Warthog, a Stiernbuck and a Red Hartebeest uh, that we need to get. Um, I think today um, we're going to go for a Stiernbuck and a Gemsbuck and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, Gemsbuck, we've seen a couple of nice bulls. Um, They've been giving us a little bit of trouble. They're uh, they're very clever, but uh, hopefully we get one down uh, today. Saw some uh, red hartebeest. Um, it's a group of bulls. They're about 400, 450 yards. So it's just a little too far of a shot for me. We're gonna go up here and see if we can't get back on them. Let's do it. He's almost in the front. There's one just behind him. Yep. Exactly, so on there, there. Just need to clear. All run. Bottom right is better. Okay. 
there is the H to see kind of that ant here. And it is 390. Post in the morning. Okay, he's hit. Look at his leg. Look at the second Oh, uh, the very back? Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Still, 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 if the one behind In the him moves, moves, I'll shoot. Nice. <laughs> what a beautiful, what a beautiful bull. Look at that, look how big that uh, boss is. What a lovely animal. Thank well you done. very much, Richard. Well I mean, this has got some size to him. Yes. He's got a big old scar right here from. Uh, look at that, that's a good bull. That's a good bull. You can see how he flares a bit there. Look how big his base is. Big base is. Lovely animal. Well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right, uh, this uh, red hardy beast, beautiful animal, gave us a bit of a run around. Uh, we saw him across the valley um, with another six of his, uh, of the resident bulls here. And uh, we put in a short stalk, they took off, put in a second stalk, took off. And on our third stalk, we got successful with him. And uh, what a beautiful animal, lovely bosses, nice long pins, really good animal. Well done, Gunner. Oh, thanks, Richard. Yeah, you know, I'm not too well versed in. Uh Red hearted beast, but uh, you can tell just from the bases here just how big this guy is, how mature he is, and uh, his tips. Just uh, he carries the mass all the way through. Um, it's a great representative bull for this area. Uh, couldn't be more pleased. Thank you. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Good spot. Martin, African Sub Productions with the spot. <laughs> My new tracker. <laughs> yeah. Nice going down. Uh, thank you, Richard. Beautiful animal. Those are yeah. long horns, let me check. Good game. Well done, buddy. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate well it. Well done. Oh, man. Beautiful animal. Absolutely beautiful. They're a lot bigger body than I thought they were. Yeah. Lovely animals. Yeah, great horns. Man. Beautiful horns, man. Eh? Lovely. Right, we've had an interesting day today. We've been off to uh, Gamesburg. We made a shot earlier this morning. Um, it was a little low. We've been tracking this Gamesburg for quite a while, um, close on 10 miles. And uh, luck be ever, Thomas uh, has been uh, all over the place trying to get her out for us. And uh, he got her to come right past us and we made a good shot here, Gunner. Well done. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, like you said, uh, Thomas, our tracker, did a great job. Um, made some really good spots uh, when we couldn't find them. We ran them around a lot today, and uh, just want to say thank you, Thomas. And then uh, Martin, our cameraman, he made a good uh, spot, and I was able to get a couple more shots to uh, anchor them. Um, it's a very, very nice Gibbs Bach. Uh, couldn't be happier with them. Thank you very much. So uh, last night, um, we got done with hunting a little bit early. Um, so we went into town and uh, had a pretty big uh, drinking competition. We played some darts, played some pool. I ended up behind the bar handing out shots. Uh, saw double this morning, so we are getting a late start. And uh, we're about to go take a drive and see what we can find. Yeah, we had a good night. Uh, clearly the South Africans won the darts <laughs> and the pool once again. It was a bit tough. We're hanging like fruit bats this morning, but we'll do okay. Late start, but we'll, we, we only need a couple of hours to get our stuff done. No ways. <laughs> He's like, that guy is not going to shoot me. I am good to go. Yes, long time, eh? Watch out, he doesn't whip you. Grab one head on the head, on the, on the head and one head on the tail. I've got... You're putting bumps. The thorns are in the way. <laughs> Crikey, he's pissed off. Okay, he, he has bumps. <laughs> what are they going to do to it? <laughs> Ah, uh, here in Bob, the man. No, no. Watch how he does a box here. Yeah. Maybe let him go down and then grab him. Yeah, you're yeah, about to go down. You'll be quick, man. <laughs> Watch your, watch your arm there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what is this, this uh, type of monitor? The monitor. Tree monitor. Yeah. So we got a uh, monitor lizard here. Um, he ran across the road and uh, I've always loved catching snakes and lizards since I was little. So I gave him a try. Apparently these guys got a pretty solid bite. Uh, from what Richard was telling me, but uh, <laughs> they whip you with their tail. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I got a good grab behind his head, and uh, uh, we're entertaining the tracker here, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped to the other side of the track. <laughs> He's gonna play dead now. Okay. Now you'll play dead. Watch. <laughs> 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. They just like go like this mm. to see if uh, it will lose interest or something. Mm -hmm. Well done, you must be full of thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> Right, this morning we're going to try for a steam back. We've tried for a couple of days now. They've proven to be pretty difficult at the moment. Um, we're going to leave from the lodge and we're going to do about a five mile walk and uh, see if we can uh, wake one up in the flats and take it from there. We've seen some nice ones, but just not what we would like to shoot. Yeah, a couple more days left in the hunt. Yeah. We're trying to get some a little more size to it. We've seen some average ones, but uh, we're looking for some with some decent size. Thomas, the tracker just spotted a nice uh, steam buck ram, so uh, we're going to give it a short stalk and see if we can't get on him. Well done, you got him. Thank you, Richard. Well Appreciate done. it. That looks like a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Awesome. It's a nice one. Definitely. Uh, uh, hopefully his horns and skull are all right. <laughs> That's a small okay. animal. Okay. Especially with the cool. piano wood make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go look. Nice. That's a good ram. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow, look at those horns, nice and thick. Well done, guys. Oh, thank you, Richard. Appreciate good it. Animal. Oh, it's good, beautiful. good animal. Uh, here we got a uh, nice steambuck ram. We did a short stalk, and uh, Thomas, our tracker, made a really good spot, and Richard put me up on the sticks and made a good shot. Uh, you can tell he's an older ram. He's got these uh, real thick bases and for a steam block, This is a very very nice uh, representative of the Eastern Cape Thank you. All right, our, uh, our hunts come to an end here in the Eastern Cape with Comrie Safaris um, It's been a great trip and just want to thank Richard for uh, putting me on some some great trophies and uh, just being um, an overall great pH uh, It's made it a blast here and I just like to thank African Sun Productions for getting it on camera and just making this a lot more memorable experience for uh, down the road. And I'd like to thank Thomas, my uh, tracker right here. Uh, you know, he when we when we needed him, he uh, got the job done. He made some great spots off the back of the truck, and uh, he, he made the hunt even better experience just getting animals down and uh, helping. Uh, and yeah, thanks, Richard. Just really appreciate it. And your pleasure. Yeah, we've had a good time. We've got some good animals. Yes, sir. I think you can go home being proud. Um, and I'd like to thank you for joining us here and also the work that you do uh, with the anti-poaching side of things. I think that's fantastic thank and uh, people can learn from you. Um, yeah.